Hello and welcome back to the July 2018 edition of Community Focus presented by the Friends of MCTV. I'm Linda Malacadelli, your host for this month's program. Our guest in this segment is from the Midland Area Community Foundation. I'd like to welcome CEO Sharon Mortensen to share some exciting news. Well, thanks, Linda. Welcome to our show, Sharon. Thank you. Say, so, please tell us uh, about this exciting new event with River Days and the Balloon Fest combining. Oh, well, absolutely. So we're very excited. The first weekend in August, that mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, will be River Days. And the River Days part will be on the farmer's market side of the Tridge. Okay. So very excited for that. And then also excited to partner with the Balloon Fest and have that going on at the same time. And uh, where the activities are at the farmer's market will be along the area of the spray park. Is that the mm -hmm. it's, Right, it's that area, in? part of the H lawn. Uh -huh. And so, and where Tunes by the Tridge is done each uh -huh. week. So oh, that good. whole area there. Great location. Now, Friday night, we're going to kick off, with, you're going to kick it off with several of, uh, great events. Sounds really exciting. Absolutely. Please tell us about those. Sure, sure. Well, we have the Rock Show, which is um, a band that features great hits, rock and roll hits over time. So that'll mm -hmm. be fun on Friday night. The Rotary um, Club has their beer and wine tasting and also a cheeseburger. Oh. Um, so you can have a cheeseburger dinner there. And then there will be the run going on, the Run the River, which the uh, Midland Community Center sponsors. So that will be going on. Yeah. And then that night after dark, we will have a movie on the H lawn there. And it will be Charlie oh. and the Chocolate Factory. So activities to keep bu people busy starting around 5 that night through when the movie ends later oh. in the evening. Sounds like a lot of fun for everyone then. It should be. Um, so what is happening then on Saturday night? Well there's um, of course another band that night and it's called Trip and Billies which is a Dave Matthews tribute band so they'll be mm -hmm. playing and then we'll have some warm-up bands prior to them playing and then the night ends with fireworks and that's thanks to the Roland M. Gerstacker Foundation. In fact we call it the Esther Gerstacker Fireworks because of her love of the fireworks mm -hmm. and her support over the years. Yeah. for that so it's a great way to finish the night and one thing both Friday and Saturday night there'll be balloon glows going on on oh. the Chippewa Sea side okay so that'll be fun so along yeah. with the fireworks you'll see um, the balloons glowing so it should just be a spectacular evening it sounds very mm -hmm. exciting yes yes the fireworks alone are great but absolutely with all the combination mm -hmm. of them now what type of other activities will there be throughout the day sure well we have lots of kids activities and crafts going on and that's thanks to our nonprofits they come in and they plan various activities for children and really that all kicks off about 10 a.m. on Saturday we'll have zippity two dads oh. and they sing children's songs we'll have a puppet show a magic show we'll have activities going on and then as well as that we do have our zip line we have the Chippewa Nature Center brings their big Voyager canoe out so mm -hmm. they'll be out and you can get out on the river and enjoy that and then Ike's mobile kayak rental will be there with kayaks mm -hmm. um, that's the one thing where there is a charge all the other activities are free but there is a charge for that oh, um, but still very reasonable and a great way for families to get out to enjoy the river and just to enjoy a beautiful day oh certainly and a great chance to try a zip line <laughs> a absolutely you could try it too yeah. not just limited to kids so yeah oh I'd love to I've always wanted to do one of those now food snacks and beverages um, we all love to eat at these events and so who all is going to be there over oh, the two days? Oh sure yeah well we'll have lots of food truck vendors there from around the area and the state actually that'll be in selling you know various kinds of food and then Friday night we have the Rotary Club doing cheeseburgers Saturday night the Lions Club does their chicken dinner oh. so so much food available and then the Rotary will have their beer and wine tent both nights Friday and Saturday oh. so lots of opportunities for food and drink down there mm -hmm. and just to come enjoy. And the food trucks add a lot to it, I think. They do, they do, and people really enjoy those, and yes. it gives you a variety of things that you can take part uh, in. There's something for everyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, let's turn our attention to the Bloom Fest. Now, you said those activities would take a place um, across the uh, Chippewa mm -hmm. Park. Correct. Which is across the bridge? Right, is across the Tridge. Across mm -hmm. the Tridge. Uh, oh, okay, on that side of, not on the other side of the M20 then, right? Um, well, actually, it's back where the dog park is, so that's okay, Chippewa in the back Park section. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Right. Okay. okay. So yeah, so that'll be going on now. Thursday night, they're doing an event. They're doing a glow where they just have their baskets and burners on Main Street. Oh. So that'll be fun for people just to get them in the spirit of yeah, um, yeah. the balloon festival. Fire them up, so to yeah, say. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There you go. Yeah, and then and then they'll have on Friday and Saturday, as I mentioned, the, the glow, and then of course some activities during the day as yeah. well. 
So they'll have just a robust um, offering of activities as well. So people oh, can go back and forth across the Tridge and enjoy activities on one side with River Days, on mm -hmm. the other side with the balloons. So we think it's going to be just a fabulous event all put together for individuals like and oh, families. Yeah. Absolutely. And boy, the kids mm -hmm. will sleep good that night. <laughs> I think they should. I think they should. Okay. Now, how can people find out more about the event? And is, is there a schedule and other information Absol they can find out Absolutely. about? Absolutely. Um, they could go to riverdaysmidland.com. Okay. And we'll have a full schedule up there that they can look at. Mm -hmm. um, so we encourage that. And we'll also, our Facebook page will feature kind of up to the minute things of mm -hmm. what's happening and, and new pieces that we learn about that we can share with folks. So, mm -hmm. so but we encourage people to go to that riverdaysmidland.com Midland mm -hmm. and check out the various okay. offerings that we have. Okay, thank you so much. Thank and you. I've always loved these both of these events. So the merging of the two, I think, is going to just be a fabulous fun family event for the whole community mm -hmm. so thank you for joining us sure again. thank you for the opportunity thank you please stay tuned for our next guest from veterans freedom park <laughs>